Welcome to the CBS Radio Mystery Theater Archives, the only YouTube channel which has the original classic episodes of the CBS Radio Mystery Theater in order with no ads. Thank you for listening, and now, enjoy the show. man shall exist, I suppose he'll keep attempting the impossible, which is right and proper. Without the dreamers, the doers, the achievers, history would walk a short march to the grave. But man can overreach. Man can keep challenging the gods only so far as this one man did. It was his way of life and death. I don't know how to take you. You're pretty kooky, even in our wacky world. What's the name? Oh, my private name is Lou Cipher. My circus name, in the act, is Diablo. Let's drink to new acquaintance, Vito. And to all the tomorrows we may spend together. The Quadruple was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Ian Martin and stars Michael Tolan. I'll be back shortly with Act One. Winter quarters for the greatest show on earth, the circus. The season is approaching and all the acts are brushing off new routines, perfecting the impossible, preparing to present the fabulous and the unbelievable. And in the enclosed arena over the great safety net, the aristocracy of the circus, the flyers are practicing. That's Vittorio Basso up there. The clean lines of his trim, muscular body made clumsy by the mechanic harness he wears. A safety device to break his fall if he should miss the throw to his catcher Manuelo on the planned new climax of his act, the triple somersault. Forty feet below on the ground, Papa Basso is the coach. All right, Vittorio. Sure, Papa. This time I make it easy. Manuelo. Sure. I see what is wrong, Papa. My fault. I hold it ready today. Bueno. So. Ready. Start your swing. Hold the bed. Vito. Ready. Go. Higher! Higher! Perfectamente! Now! Break! Open! Catch! Ha! Hey, bravo! Bravo! Slack off on the harness. I'm coming down to the net. Give him room! Yeah! <laughs> oh. Well, Papa, we're in business. I have the timing. Get me out of this old lady's corset. <laughs> Mirabile, no? Yeah, yeah. It goes well. But with such a safety harness, a tourist could do trapeze trick. Oh? And without it? It is the flyer and the catcher defying gravity. Something else. Uh, ah, I'm, I'm going up again to do the triple. Free as a bird. Hey, Manuelo, Fratello. We fly free, No. Wherever you are ready, Vito. Now. No. Why not? Because. Let me see your hands. Oh, some some skin burns. A, a callus tore loose. Under the wrappings, there is no skin on your palms. You mad? We tempt fate. We fly in the face of God enough already. No more. Now take down the rigging. We're through for the day. Manuelo, come on down. Why are you doing this, Papa? You think I'm not ready? I know it can happen. I can be Cadona all over again. Better you should not be him. But he was the master of the triple. But not of living. Everything to its time. Why do you need this exercise in mathematics with, with so much danger of death? Is the triple so important? 
You talk first to Mama. Ah, oh, you know what she'll say. Maybe she is right, Vito. When is she not, Manuel? I can't listen to her. If I don't do it soon, Gayona or someone else will beat me to it. Let them break their necks, little brother. Better to be alive. Enjoy the girls and la dolce vita. The girls go only for number one. <laughs> you wouldn't know anymore now that you're married. And maybe you'll never know what it is to be married if you keep carrying Logorigio de la Morte in your heart. I don't have any death wish. I just want to do the triple. Oh, you've done it already five, six times. Isn't that enough? No. I want to be able to do it every time. That is not possible, and you know it. What are you, afraid you can't catch me? I can catch anything you throw at me, if you're there. But there are things like loose bandages, sweat, split seconds, lights. A million things go wrong if you press your luck. By me, let it go. You're walking out on me? I am your brother. I'll catch you. Because with me, you stand a better chance than anywhere else. But not today. I know when I've heard it up. You should listen to your brother. Yeah, to Mama and to you, Papa. But you won't. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. It's better to be safer than sorry. Yeah. Yeah, come on. I'll help you strike the rigging. But your hands... They've been worse. They'll heal. I'm not so sure about my velilita. <laughs> With all the girls you have on the string, <laughs> you should worry about proving that. I'm not trying to prove that I'm a man to the girls. I'm trying to prove it to myself, Papa. <laughs> Vittorio said that, Guido. See, si, Carla. Oh, man was not made to fly. It is an act against God and his angels. Oh, I bless the day I missed my try at the triple and ripped the shoulder out of my socket so I can never ride a trapeze again. And I bless the day you broke your leg so you could never catch again. Mm. It saved our lives. And sometimes I curse the day we brought children into the world who may not be so lucky. Oh, Mama. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean that all the way. Anna Maria is out of it now, I thank God. Manuelo, you will always be all right. The madness doesn't touch him. But Vito, oh, I pray for him every night to fly. It is his religion, his life. And I can read it in the stars. It will be his death. He dreams and dares too much. I cannot stop him. Only you can do that. No, not me anymore. What he needs is a woman his own age. Dio. <laughs> He's only to wink and he has them all. <laughs> He's a god to them. Not to the right woman. A woman like you. A woman with whom he will fall in love. Oh, I will pray there may be such a woman. I think it is the only way he might be saved from himself. Uh, is the doc in? No, he's out on a call. Can I help? Oh, you knew. That's right. What happened to Jenny? The nurse who used to be here? Yes. She said this place was getting to be like a circus. She up and left. Are you coming in or not? Well, if the doc isn't here, why? Um, on the other hand, you are. Yeah, maybe I'll come in. The only thing I'm dispensing is limited medical advice. What can I do for you? Well, you give me the cold shoulder. I'll tell you what I'll do. I could turn the other cheek, but... Instead, I'll offer you my hand. Up the hands, that is. <laughs> the mess. You skin those pretty good. Those should be dressed and clean before they get infected. Well, that's why I came to the clinic. But if the doc's away, no, maybe... No, I can fix them for you. Here, sit down. Hmm. I'll need a history. Where, uh, where would you like me to start? After your name. I already know that. You do? The great Vittorio. Who else could you be? Basso's the family name, right? Right. And your name? Nurse. Nurse what? Beg pardon? You must have a name. Yes, Nurse Williams. Oh, nothing, um... A little more intimate? Nothing a little more intimate. Hold out your hands. I thought I'd already made the gesture. Shall we keep this on a business level, or do you want to wait for the doctor? You're giving me the treatment. I'll take whatever you dispense. Give me your hands. 
It's going to hurt a little. Mm, it already has. <laughs> it would take more than me to bruise your ego, Mr. Flyer. You might be surprised, Miss Nurse. How about lunch? I have it sent in. Dinner? My place? We could send out. I'm not that easy. I didn't think you were. Where would you like to go? You're very sure of yourself, aren't you? Yeah. Very sure of just how I feel about you. Won't you please have dinner with me? My every instinct tells me it would be a high road to disaster. Then the answer's no? Well, it ought to be. But you made me an offer I can't refuse. It's yes? More than that. Kismet. Fate. Now, let's see what I can do to fix you up. My future is in your hands. It looks more as if mine was in yours. I see you have a problem with your hands. May I mix that for you? Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, thanks, yes. I should have asked the bartender to. <laughs> He's not a helpful type. He wears his antagonism as a shield. I beg your pardon? Oh, I beg yours. I was talking in my own short hand. The trouble with psychology is you expect everyone else in the world to see it from your frame of reference. Are you a psychologist? Well, should we say it's a compulsive hobby? Uh, mix it all with the soda? Yeah, please. You know, I wouldn't have thought of you as a drinking man. <laughs> I'm not. It's a rare occasion. Ah. Uh, can I help you with a glass? No, no, I can manage. Well, you shouldn't, really. No. It's not for you. What do you mean? Oh, you are the great Vittorio. Every muscle, nerve, impulse must be always at your command. Booze knocks the edge off that. Right at the moment, I'd like the booze to knock the edge off the whole ball of wax. Ah, because you have not mastered the triple? Mister, who are you? A fellow performer, if you will. I just joined the circus. What's your act? <laughs> I'm a fire eater. Oh, sideshow. Oh, no, center ring. Center ring? The act is quite unusual. Wait till you see it. But that's of no import. What is, is, uh, is your despair. Despair? Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You wish to achieve the triple somersault. Is it all that important to you? You can do it if you want to. Doesn't seem to be that easy. Suppose I could guarantee that you could. <laughs> Mister, whoever you are, I can't tell you what I'd give for that. Your life? <laughs> there wouldn't be much sense to that. If I do it and keep doing it, I want to be alive to enjoy it. No, I suppose I meant your um, eternal life. Like Faust? The pact with the devil? <laughs> I'd have made that without a qualm. I don't believe in life hereafter. I know. What do you mean, you know? <laughs> Said I was a psychologist. And I'll tell you something else. You will do the triple. Perhaps even more. So set your mind at rest. How do you know? The knowledge is a gift. Let's uh, clink glasses in a pact. What pact? That in this moment you believe with me that you can accomplish anything you wish. And what do I owe you? <laughs> Nothing. If you succeed and keep succeeding, you will already have paid the price. If you are not prepared to risk everything, then nothing will be lost. If you are, then I'll be waiting to tell you the cost. I don't know how to take you. You're pretty kooky, even in our wacky world. What's the name? <laughs> My private name is Lou Cipher. My circus name for the act is Diavolo. Let's uh, drink to new acquaintance and to all the tomorrows we may spend together. Hmm? Diavolo, a perfect name for a fire eater. The devil. A psychologist? Well, after all, who has a better right to the title than the Antichrist? But uh, aren't we getting ahead of ourselves? No pact has been signed in blood. Vito Basso is not deeply religious, and this is the 20th century. But do these limitations change the basic nature of man? I shall return shortly with Act Two. 
It was back in the early 1970s that our particular circus opened this year. There were several new acts imported from Europe, among them the amazing Diavolo, Fire Eater or Fiend. But even that terrifying act, which began with a smoky explosion in the center ring, then roared to the rafters, leaving Diavolo himself complete with pitchfork, miraculously appearing as if the ground had parted. Even Diavolo paled before the main attraction. The darling of the crowds, the uncrowned king of the circus, the most daring of all young men on the flying trapeze. Ladies and gentlemen, directing your attention to the center ring, the great, the one and only conqueror of space and air, the daring death defier of gravity, the great Vitario, now featuring every night in his act, the impossible of impossibles, the triple backward somersault from the flying bar to the hands of his brother, Manuelo, the great Vitario. Uh, who are you? Oh, permit me. I am Diavolo. Oh, you uh, see, see, pardon, pardon me. Your, your act is most uh, impressive. I, I would be more complimentary. Of course, but... this is not the time. But you mustn't worry. For a flyer, there is always worry. Oh, oh. not for Vitor. How could you know? Call it a sixth sense. He will do what he has to do. See, I, I believe that. But how can you be so sure? Because there is no other acceptable alternative. Is there? Down me. On the contrary, I want to see you up and flying safely. How are the hands? They'll do. How uh, how was my triple? I don't know. I didn't watch. Lilo, you you don't understand. I don't know why I shouldn't. I was born out of the trunk next to yours. What does that mean? I call myself Williams now. It's my middle name. Wilhelm, actually. Lilo Wilhelm Skoda. Ring a bell? The Sky High Scoders. Right. Till we took the fall. Were you hurt? No. My brother Werner pulled me back up to the wire. It was while he was making sure I had a firm grip that he slipped and fell like the rest. Not all of you. When the pyramid collapsed, my mother, my uncle, my cousin, my sister all went. Werner saved me before he was lost. That left us my father. But he kept on with the act. Without me. Oh, some cousins and other people. It didn't last long. Well, I went into nursing, and three days after I graduated, I had my first accident case. I bet you handled it like a breeze. Oh, sure. It was my daddy. <clears throat> he was doing a publicity stunt. Walking an overhead tram wire from the mainland to the island. Blindfold. In crosswinds up to 40 miles an hour. Guess where he ended up? I know. He was 71 years old. Not the worst time to die. Is there ever a good one? Some are better than others. <laughs> a philosopher as well as an egoist. Oh, come on, Lilo. Lay off me. Do we always have to fight? Oh, what would you like me to do, Vito? Be a good little bunny like all your other little girls? There aren't any other little bunnies since you. Mila, what is it you want? I'll bring it to you on a silver platter. What I don't want, Vito, is you. 
That's not how we started out. Well, maybe I grew up in the meantime. With someone else? Oh, I didn't say that. Come out with me tonight, after the show. Let's talk about us. I can't. Why not? Uh, well, I have another date. Who? Uh, no, no, honest. I, I, I just want to know my competition, so Am I, I can... Am breaking in on anything? Uh, don't know, Lou. Of course not. Oh, I had a feeling Vito thought I was. Hey, you do kind of crawl out of the walls. <laughs> All part of the illusion. Well, I wondered if you were ready, Lilo. We are having dinner. Oh, of course, Lou. Vito, you'll have to excuse me. Or, uh, are you hurt some way? No, just a rope burn. Forget it. Well, I can treat it for No, like you. I said, forget it. Thank you for dinner, Lou. Well, my pleasure. Would you like a brandy? Oh, I don't drink. All my life, I didn't dare to. Well, anyway, I never picked up the habit. Not even after the fall? You know about me? I was in Europe when the Scotus fell. It ended their career on the high wire. It's not something I like to talk about. Oh, I'm sure. Still, I wouldn't want to see you make the, uh, the same kind of mistake again. And what does that mean? It's, uh, Vittorio Basso, isn't it? I think this is a subject I prefer not to discuss. Even if I find him a rival of mine? How can he be a rival? Just because I went out to dinner with you, Lou, doesn't mean I expected to get involved. I'm not in the market for any long-term commitment. Even with the great Vittorio? Vito is the last person I'd want to find myself tied to. Why? Because the only thing he's in love with is death. Vito, I'm just closing the dispensary. The door's locked. Well, what do you want? Are you hurt? Yes. Where? You can't see it. It's inside. Can we have dinner? It's not a good idea. Why? Because we aren't a good idea. Oh, it's my fault. I never should have come back to the circus. Why did you? Well, I thought I belonged here. But I find I don't anymore. Of course you belong, Lilo. You can't ever run away from it. Anyone who performs in this mad, crazy world has to be just that. Oh, Beto, don't ask me to expose myself to that again. I'm not asking you to perform, Lilo. I love you. I'm just asking you to be my wife. Oh, no. That's not what you're asking me at all. What do you mean? You're asking me to be your widow. Are you crazy? No. You're the ones who are. Any of you who climbed those 21 lucite rings on the rope ladder to the pedestal board. Out of the regular world into your own world where nothing exists but the trick, the challenge, and the risk. You want to marry me? Yes. Then give up that world. As I have. I can't, Lilo. That's my life. It's all I know. Besides... Besides? Besides what? I... I can't. I, I made a... Look, Lilo. There aren't any other girls anymore. No one. Not since I met you. And there never will be. I'd like to believe that, Vito. I guess I do. No other girls. Except one. Who? The kind of mistress I can't fight. The trapeze. The triple. <laughs> You're even doing it blindfold now. Yeah, because it's so easy, baby. No sweat, no danger. Oh, sure. Till you go for the... The quadruple. Who told you that? No one. They didn't have to. It was just inevitable. Once you mastered the triple, you'd have to go for that. Look, you know... You know it's possible. More than that, Lilo. I'll tell you, but I, I don't want other competitors to know... But I do it now with the mechanical safety harness. Yes, almost every time. And soon I'll fly free and get the timing down with Manuelo. And I'll be the first in the world, the first for all time. I'll be a sensation. I'll be the top of that tent, the greatest flyer alive. Or dead, if you miss. Oh, please, Vito. If not for my sake, for your own, let it go. Let it be somebody else. Why does it have to be you? I... I don't know how to say it, but 
But it has to be me, Lilo. No, it has to be me. I'm, I'm committed. And somehow I know I can't stop. Ladies and gentlemen, your kind attention, please. Directing your attention to the center ring. An act of such astounding and unbelievable virtuosity that its eternal fires will furniture you to the marrow of your bones. The one and only Diablo, who feeds and breathes on fire and comes to you at rugged speed from the burning bowels of the earth. Is he man or is he what he claims to be, the devil incarnate? Ladies and gentlemen, the How the heck does he do it? He sure it's an illusion, Manuela. <laughs> you don't think he's the real McCoy? I didn't to begin with. No, I'm not so sure. What are you giving me? The straight goods. I'm afraid the guy's got me hooked. On what? Hey, wait, man. You're not flying on anything else. No, I'm not on any stuff. Not the way you mean. It's just I... I made a kind of deal with the Avalo there. Without realizing I was making a deal. I don't know where you're at, little brother. <laughs> because I don't know myself, Manuela. I'm I'm scared. Oh, what? Read it this way. The guy really is the boy from down there, old Nick. Or Max out to be. How could he touch you? You don't believe in all that junk, do you? When it comes we have to lay it on the line, I don't know. Come on, Manuela. We were brought up right. We go to early mass every day. And all the high masses, we can make holidays. We confess. Do we believe all the way? I don't know. Suddenly I'm scared I made a deal for the best part of me. Just because I wanted to be top dog in the circus. Hey, maybe you shouldn't fly tonight. I think what you need is a good rest. Maybe some aspirin. No, no, I'll fly. But after I'm going to have a talk with the man. Get my head straightened out. I just realized it. <laughs> My whole life is riding on just how real Diavolo is. In the center ring, the man called Diavolo lights his flaming swords and burning libations, swallowing them all. Certainly, he is the epitome of the devil incarnate. But is he? And whatever and whoever he is, does he hold the life of Vito Basso in his expressive hands? I shall return shortly with Act Three. Once Upon a Time is how stories begin. I bring it up because we're considering one of the oldest stories in the world, the temptation of man, the enticements of the devil. But is it surely possible that in the 20th century, the devil still exists and exercises his blandishments? Is the amazing Diavolo only an extraordinarily persuasive and effective entertainer? Or could he seriously be exactly what he is named? A fiend from hell who has bought at least one soul from our circus. Master, master, no more today is enough. No, no, Papa. Stay up, Manuelo. I'm coming up again. For what? The last triple was perfect. What is left to practice? I'll tell you as soon as I'm back up there. What is it, Vito? You sound so strange. I'm going to do the quadruple, Papa. What? This is the time to try it. I know it. I feel it in my heart and my soul. <sighs> I'll get the mechanic harness. No, no. No harness. Have you lost your mind? We know you can make the four somersaults, Vito, but the connection, it, it's never been done. I have to do it to rid myself of a debt, Papa. I won't allow you. You can't stop me. You know what the dangers are, Vito. When you come out of your tuck position in the triple, you're moving 60 miles an hour. And from the quadruple, it'll be up to 75. Within less than one second, you will have no chance to find Manuel. Manuela must find me. If he's a, a tenth of a second off, even less, 
think you could miss under that speed go right off the end of the net? Miss it. I can pull in so I don't miss. But if you land wrong... Papa! It's something I have to do. Watch me. Tell me when to break. I... I, I, I will, my son. Go with God. I'm trying to find him again. Hey! What's going on? Vito is coming up. He wants to try the quadruple. No! What is it with you, little brother? You blow your stack or something? It's something I've got to do, Manuela. Is to that important? Yeah. To me. Okay, you fly. I'll catch. Vito! Yes, Papa? Remember, I don't tell you to go till you get enough elevation. I'll get the elevation. You gotta get above the rigging. I will. <sighs> okay, Manuelo. Start your swing. Hey, Papa. If Vito throws it right, I got him. Plenty of magnesium on the bar, Vito. Okay, Papa. Dry your hands good on the tower, eh? Dry as a bone. I'm ready to go. Manuelo? Okay. All right, Vito. Start your swing. Watch your timing. Go. Here I go. You give me the word. Fine. Let your whole body away on the bar. Pump. Pump. You're not high enough yet. Pump. Good. Bueno. Splendid. Higher. Higher. This time on the back swing, we clear the rigging. Good. Good. Now, break. One, two, three, four. Open. Dio Valente. Magnifico. You did it. You did the quadruple. <laughs> I'm abducting you for nefarious purposes of my own. I knew I shouldn't have agreed to come out with you tonight. You afraid of me? I'm always afraid of you. Now, you see where I brought you? To the cloisters. Mm. There's a parking spot here just made for lovers. Where you can look out across the Hudson and up and down. Here. Here we are. Ah, just. Look at the George Washington Bridge. A necklace of shimmering diamonds about a lovely woman's throat. Why, oh, Vito, you are a poet. I'm an Italian, and I'm in love. <laughs> Come on, Lilo. Walk with me to the parapet. All right. Well, now we're here. Just what did you have in mind? Look down to Riverside. That's a river parkway. Mm-hmm. The ant world. <laughs> the little people. How often have you looked down on them, Lilo, from the pedestal? Oh, that was a long time ago. But doesn't this, being here, bring back the thrill? The feeling of, of exultance? That you're immortal? It brings me nothing but the smell of death. <laughs> I had to be sure you hadn't changed your mind. I'll never change my mind. I want you to marry me, Lilo. You know I can't. Or won't. Oh, most of it's selfish. I couldn't take it, Vito. I can't watch you fly even now. And if you were my man, the agony of fear would be too much every night. It would rip me apart. Lilo, listen to no, me. No, 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 let me finish. I want children, Vito. I wish they could be yours. But I wouldn't bring them into the world knowing that any time, any moment, they could be fatherless. Or even worse than that, that worshipping you, they would end up flying to. Finished? What is there left? My turn. Tonight I resigned from the circus. What? I canceled the contract. Wait. Tomorrow will be my last full performance. We break away then, anyway, for the road. If they hold me to it, I'll do only the showy stuff, nothing dangerous. 
No triple? No more triple after tonight. You would never be satisfied. I'm not selfish all the way. No, I would be satisfied. I'd be happy. Not doing the triple? Ah, it's only another trick. And what about the dream? The quadruple? I don't have to worry anymore. I did it today in practice. Why, you... Yes, I proved it all to myself. I don't have anything to prove anymore. What do you say? Once we take the vows, it'll be forever. Till death do us part. Hello, Vito. Drown your sorrows with me. What's your drink? I don't want to drink, Lou. I've been looking for you. I want to talk to you. Well, I'll be my guest. Your seeking me out warms the cockles of my heart. It may disprove once and for all the biblical dictum a prophet is not without honor save in his own country or his own home. <laughs> what can I do for you? Tell me who you are. And I thought I was the one who was drinking. Lou Cipher, of course. Or Lucifer. Oh, John Vito boy. You're confusing my profession with my private life. I am only Diablo at the circus. I'm not so sure of that. The first time we met, we made a, a funny kind of pact. <laughs> a pact with the devil? I'd like to make sure it wasn't. Well, refresh my memory. What was our pact? No, no, wait a minute. I, I think I promised you that you would throw the triple and succeed. Now, there was more than that. You implied you would return to collect full terms once I did it. And what did you expect me to collect, my friend? It could be my life. If I was Lucifer and really the devil... Are you? <laughs> yeah, I know this must seem foolish and childish, but Lilo and I are going to be married. And the least I can promise her is to stay alive. Vito, don't marry that girl. Because you want her for yourself? Oh, that's true, I do. But she doesn't want me. So I'm giving you, my friend, a plain, unbiased opinion. What? Everything I saw in you from the beginning. The obsessive drive to accomplish what no one else has ever done. Today, the triple, shall I guess what it will be tomorrow? The quadruple. But I no longer have to dream it. I've done it. And that will satisfy you? Oh, no, Vito. I'm afraid you make me into what I am not. But be assured, our pact, as you call it, can never be broken. You are the devil. The devil, Miomiko, is inside ourselves. He calls the tune, but the melody we dance to is born in our own minds. The devil is our own creation. You have no one to fear but yourself. Vito. Are you sure, Vito? My last chance. I want to go out in a blaze of glory. Supposing you miss. I can't miss. Today I'm free as a bird. It's my lucky day. It, it might be better if you do. What? You made Lilo a promise. If you make the quadruple today, how can you be sure you can hold to that promise? I can't worry about anything else now, Papa. Manuela was in the swing. Give me the trapeze. You told the announcer. Yeah, yes, If Papa. you won't signal him, I will. Ladies and gentlemen... Your attention, please. I above the center ring, we are about to see a feat which defies description. We are going to see the impossible for the first time. The great Vitaio is going to fly the incredible, the not to be believed, the greatest triumph that any aerialist has ever accomplished, the quadruple somersault from the swinging trapeze to the hands of his catcher and brother, Manuelo. This is a moment in history. I hear the announcement. I cannot believe it. Take my breath away. Arcs, forcing the trapeze higher and higher 
into the shadows beyond the arc light. High in the big top. I look at him. And I love him. And I know I have lost him. to take off, I increase my tempo to match his swings. Once I am sure I am in sync, I slide down to my catcher's position. But all the time I'm thinking, who needs this? Why take the risk? Swinging on the trapeze, using my body to drive it higher and higher till I get the altitude I need. My heart is singing, my head light and clear. This is where you belong, Vito. You lie to Lilo. You'll never be able to give it up. Then I'm into the somersaults. Two on the way up, two on the way down. In less than a second, spinning so fast, the only thing I can orient myself on as I come out is Manuelo. And there he is. And our hands are right, wrist to wrist. And we make it again. Only, only it is too hot, too humid. We cannot hold. We are clutching butter. And suddenly, after the shock of contact, I am flying free again. Only this time, I am out of control. My balance thrown off even by that brief contact. And I cannot reverse myself or tuck up to come back down into the net. I'm flying for the apron. The end of it with the big restraining cable. And suddenly all I can see is Lou's face and hear his voice. The devil is our own creation. He lives in ourselves. The melody we dance to is born in our own minds. Sooner or later you had to pay the penalty. At that moment I hit the cable with the middle of my back. Thrown beyond the net, Vito Basso's hurtling body hit the ridge of it, snapping his back like a pencil. He died instantly. Like Icarus in ancient mythology who tried to fly too high so that the sun melted the wax that secured his wings, he plunged to a retribution that comes to men who overreached themselves. But was it the pact with the devil that drove him? Or was it the hell that all of us carry in our hearts? I'll be back shortly. The mysterious Lou Cipher disappeared from the circus with as baffling suddenness as he had appeared. Mama and Papa Basso mourned their lost son and with time made their adjustment. Lilo married a doctor and has a family. Not all is tragedy. But for Vito Basso, perhaps the most fitting epitaph might be from Julius Caesar. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in ourselves, but in our stars. Our cast included Michael Tolan, E.B. Juster, Court Benson, and Ian Martin. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. I hope you enjoy this episode.